fun fact is that I almost missed my flight on the way to New York and I had to sprint to the gate, but I made it, so it was all good. We did a lot the first day, so we went to Rockefeller Center and I did not skate because I'm uncoordinated, but I saw a lot of people fall. We went to Patrick's Cathedral, you can see here. We even went inside. We definitely hit the touristy highlights. Here is Central Park. Obviously, lots of food was consumed. We were walking almost 20,000 steps a day though, so no regrets at all. If you want a contact high, Times Square is the it spot, no lie. This is about as packed as I liked the subway to be. It was cool, but you know, we took a ferry over to see the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island. Here she is in all of her glory. I mean, wow. We went to Ellis Island afterwards. We did a brief audio tour while we were there. had some pizza and then we saw the Broadway play Moulin Rouge, 10 out of 10, like my favorite part of the trip. We headed to the 9-11 Memorial the next day, which was a very somber experience. The whole area had a very calming, water flowing presence, so I'm glad that we were able to see it while we were there. The last time I was in New York, only certain floors of the Empire State Building were open, so I got to do a tour of the whole thing, including the top observation deck, so that was awesome. They opened on Sean's birthday. Everything opens on my birthday. Sean and I took a walking tour about one mile in the wrong direction. Whoops. My cousins arranged this trip actually for my 92 year old grandmother. So we did take her on the open bus tour, which was perfect for her. Honestly, I was not going to say no to riding on a bus for a little bit since we had been walking so much. We lucked out and the Yankees came, did not get postponed or canceled due to rain, so we got to enjoy that. I'm honestly thoroughly missing getting fresh bagels every morning. That is all I have, so thank you for watching.